Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I swear like I'm a European vlogger. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So, I always do the hand thing. I don't know why, I just do. So today is going to be my first ever chit chat get ready with me video. It's funny because like all my tutorials I've done full face is basically chit chat get ready with me. But I never knew that they were called that and I never called it that before. So I figured, you know what, let's do a chit chat get ready with me. Full face, chit chat. Let's talk through this bitch. I'm using the new Kathleen lights, where the light is ColourPop Shadows, the four quad. And I absolutely love them. I'm so proud of Kathleen for doing this, this collab with them. And I think you guys should go out and support her. If you guys don't know who Kathleen Lights is, I will leave her link down below with her channel. She's absolutely amazing. She's hilarious. She's beautiful. A good friend to her audience. And that's why I love her so much. And she was one of the first ever beauty bloggers or vloggers to ever believe in me. And we did a collab when I was at like 40k. It was like a Thanksgiving collab. So it was in, back in November. She was one of the first people to ever believe in my channel. And she helped me gain an audience. And one day I gained like 6,000 subscribers. And ever since then, like my channel started taking off more and more. And I feel like I owe Kathleen so much. What is this hair? And I just love her to death. And I'm so proud of her for collabing with ColourPop. And I love you, Kathleen, so much. So happy to support you. And I think you guys all should too. So check her out. Um, yeah, if you guys don't like this kind of video, don't fucking ching. You know the drill <laughs> with that. But if you guys do subscribe to my channel, click subscribe right now. If you guys do. I'll get you guys to the tutorial now. And yeah, bye. <laughs> Yes, get ready with me. So let's go ahead and get this bitch started because I just feel like doing that shit and talking with you guys. Feeling that shit, you know? Okay, cool. So I already started with primer and moisturizer on first. So the moisturizer I used was the First Aid Beauty Daily Face Cream Oil Free Non Comedogenic Cream. It looks like this. This is what it looks like. It's an awesome moisturizer. I love it because it's very thin, it's very lightweight. It's oil-free, so it's great for people that are more oily in combination. But it's very hydrating and absorbs very fast. So I really like that about this one. For my primer, I used two. I used two. For the T-zone, I used the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and Smoothing. And for the rest of my face, I used the Hydrating one. Because of the foundation I'm going in with, and I'll tell you about it right now. Why I did that. We're going to go in with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. In the shade 103, which is actually not my color. This is a little bit too dark for me. I'm going to mix it in with the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I love the L'Oreal Foundation so much. Like, I'm literally shocked about how much I fucking love this foundation. It's like a moussey texture. It's full coverage. The only thing I don't like about it is that it picks up on my dry patches, which is why I mix it with the Makeup Forever HD. So that's the only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it will literally pick up. Like, if I have a dry patch like over here, which sometimes I do, then it'll pick up on it, and that pisses me off so much. And that's why I'm using the hydrating primer on the outside of my face, because usually, like, these parts will get more dry, and my T-zone will stay oily, so that's why I'm using the hydrating primer on the outskirts of my face. And I'll use a damp beauty blender to blend it all in. I love mixing it with HD foundation because it gives this beautiful, like, demi-matte finish. I broke out when I was in New York. I, like, broke out. I don't know, maybe stress got me fucked up. <laughs> or the weather or just the atmosphere in general. Whenever I travel, I tend to break out. So that really annoys me. But I had a great, I had a great time in New York early then. And don't forget to put it on your ears, too. I don't know why I'm telling you guys to don't forget to put it on your ears because I'm the one that always forgets to put it on my ears. I'm always like, oh, cool, I'm, like, yellow. And then my ears are red. Concealer, I'm going to go ahead and take the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the color Light Neutral, which is a little bit lighter than my own skin tone. I love the feeling of this concealer so much. It is so creamy, so smooth. The coverage is absolutely amazing, but it's so lightweight. It's so cool. I'm going to put it in the T-zone as well, where I tend to break out a little bit more. Go with that Beauty Blender Damp and just kind of press it in. Yes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my translucent brightening vanilla powder by Besame. Besame. Besame? I don't fucking know. I have no idea. But this is actually probably my favorite under eye setting powder ever. Ever. So I'll take a little bit on my Morphe M438. I talk about this brush all the time. It's my ultimate under eye setting brush. And I'm just gonna set my concealer with it. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, which I love. I just wanna like, mm -hmm. It's a really good translucent powder. It's very good. Keeps me matte throughout the day. It doesn't pick up on my dry patches or anything like that, so I really like this powder. And so I'll just kinda load up like a sponge. This is from my Cody Airspun powder, this sponge. I'll just really load that bitch in there. I'm just pressing it in, cause I don't want like too much excess. Huh, don't fall on my pants. I'm actually wearing pants today. They're unbuttoned, but they're still pants. I'm wearing them. And so I'm just gonna press that into the skin, mostly in the T-zone, and then with the rest of it, go outwards. 
And since I don't really like to take liquids down my neck very much, I'm gonna take this MAC Studio Fix powder in NC25 on my Morphe G7, and I'm gonna take that down my neck. Just kind of blend in color-wise with my face. It's NC25, like you guys know I'm a light bitch. I love this brush. This is my favorite fucking brush. I'm so happy that Morphe got in their gun metals. They got so many of their gunmetal brushes back in stock, thank gosh. I have a code with Morphe, so don't forget that, you guys. You guys gonna save 10% on Manny and Mewei in store too. So use my fucking code if you wanna save 10%. It's a commission code, so then you guys know. I didn't know you guys would be so happy when I share with you guys that things are commission codes. I just thought that was normal for people to be like, oh, it's a commission code. I guess it's not. People aren't truthful sometimes. And whatever I have left on the brush, I'll just kind of press it into my face. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Makeup Forever bronzer, my matte bronzer in the shade 20, and I'm gonna take that on my my little temples, my little temple temps. I'm just really just run that in with that same G7, very lightly. I don't want to be too heavy with this one. Just a very light wash. I feel like using bronzer it just really brings so much more like life and dimension to my face, especially because I'm so pale. <laughs> Cheekbone area. I'm just gonna put a little bit of bronzer up in here. Just kind of blend in that bronzer. But my hair. I love this color because it's just like a nice, just warm matte bronzer. This is great for men. This is great for people that like to do more of on the, na on the natural side with makeup. It's just a nice bronzer to bronze up the face in shade 20. It's so it has like that beautiful warm terracotta color, and I love it. I love it. Warm. <laughs> I had so much diet coke today. Holy shit. I'm gonna take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Blushed Copper on a Morphe 509, which is just a, a tapered, a tapered fluffy brush. It's a very, just, a, it's a white-haired, flavored toughied. Remember what I said, flavored toughied? I cannot get past flavored toughied. I don't know why. Very lightly dip into it. It's extremely pigmented, so just be careful. I'm just gonna dust that on the apples of my cheek and pull it back. I don't have the most fullest cheeks. Most fullest cheeks. Is that even a word? <laughs> my cheeks aren't very full, so I like to kind of take everything back to give me more of a, like elongated stretched back look with my face and then I'll go over with my G7 and just kind of press that over just kind of blend everything together I feel like that's just gonna be better it's so pigmented though like right away like when you swatch it's like boom pigment so you need to be careful with this shit <laughs> you're really little you're really fucking beautiful I'm telling you okay so for highlight it's funny how I'm doing like my whole face and then I'm gonna do my eyes I don't care so now I'm gonna go in with a highlight that I've literally never heard of it appeared in my PO box and I was like what the fuck what is this it's called TLS I don't, I honestly, it's like the most basic ass packaging, like in a little screw thing. I don't know what the hell it is. I'll have to, shit. I'll have to look it up and find it for you guys in case you guys do like it. But the highlighter, oh my god. Let me open it. It's like a loose powder highlighter. Huh. Carefully, please. Don't spill. <laughs> okay, so this one is called, what do you call it? Blushing Bride. It is a like kind of silvery pinkish purple highlighter. So we're gonna use that shit on my Morphe M501 Mini Baby Taper Blush. Brush. What? I'm just gonna run that on my highlighting areas. See? That's why I'm saying like, what the fuck is this madness? I've never, ever heard of this brand. TLS. These remind me of the Mac Daddy highlighters. What are they called? Yeah, that's what they're called. The Mac Daddy Artist Couture highlighters, that's, they remind me so much of them, but they're a lot better. The Mac, I mean, the Mac Daddy ones are okay, like, I think they're pretty good. Um, I don't think they stick to the skin very well, but other than that, they're okay. But these ones, <laughs> they sent me three of them, and I'm dying for every color. Mm. Can you see that shit? Of course you can see that shit, you can see that from fucking Outer Space. I can, I know you can, do not deny it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a little crazy. Let me go ahead and, like, just, ooh. <laughs> Okay, G7, help me out here. Help me out, sweetheart, because this is a little, a little bit much. Isn't that nice? I've never heard of this brand. Never heard of it. Like, they didn't even reach out to me. They just literally sent it to my P.O. box, and I opened it, and I was like, that was pretty cool. Opened it. Shocked. Shocked. Okay, it's time for the eyes. Um, so I'm actually going to grab Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek on that same Morphe M438, and I'm just going to toss that all over my lid. This is just going to be to set the primer I put down, which I use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I've used that concealer as primer so many times, you guys know by now. People that have been following me for a while, you guys know. That shit's my shit. That shit is my shit. I'm so excited to do today's eyes using the Where the Light Is palette by ColourPop in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I'm so excited for you, Kathleen. I'm so 
happy for you that you're doing this. It's not really a palette, it's just like a foursome quad. We have four individual shadows, but I'm just so, so happy for you, Kathleen. I'm so proud of you being able to do this with them. So first things first, let me just stop fucking rambling about her because I could all day. I'm gonna grab the color Glow on a, just a kind of flat shader brush. This one's by Sophie. These shadows are very creamy and dense. What does this look like? Ooh, yes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that underneath my brow bone as my brow bone highlight color. It's a very just champagne glowy kind of color. It does have a glow to it, like honestly. Like look at my brow bone highlight. What? That is a glowy as fuck. I'll just grab a um, E40 and I'll just kind of blend the edges of it. I think I'm gonna need Beaches and Cream. Yeah, I'm gonna need her. I'm gonna need her. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna really quickly grab Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek and I'm just gonna use that as my transition shade just cause I use it almost in every single tutorial and it's just really helpful for me because the shadow blends out everything. It's the most beautiful, neutral, peachy shade. Very, very, very neutral though. It's absolutely stunning. I'm just gonna toss that into my crease. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Morphe M433, which is a very just dense, fluffy white brush. It's kind of dirty. And I'm gonna take the color Cornelius, which is named after her dog, her favorite dog. It's so cute, I die. It's like basically just a very warm brown. I'm just gonna run that in there and just run that into the crease. With these shadows, because they are a cream, you wanna use a more dense brush always. That's what I've noticed, that these ones you really wanna do. A very dense brush to pick up the product and deposit product. And take that all the way in. They blend out so nicely. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab a Sigma E30 pencil brush with the same Cornelia shadow. And I'm just gonna really focus that on the outer corner and just kind of build up that color. I'm actually gonna go back in with a glow and I'm gonna use that same flat brush and I'm gonna toss that onto my lid. I want a nice bright lid for this look. Once I'm getting towards the shadows, I like to blend down to blend in that Cornelius in with the glow color. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab a Morphe M326, which is a super small, tiny baby brush. And I'm gonna grab the color Kathleen Lights, which is after her name. Kathleen, you're so cute. Which is a stunning look of the Irish gold color. And I'm gonna run that underneath my lash line on the inner corner to give me that golden glow. I'm also gonna run a little bit on the inner corner as well. I'm going to go ahead and take Blaze Shadow, which is a very glittery, deep brown. It's funny because this looks like green, kinda. And like the camera, it looks it has like a greenish tone. And in person, it has a slight greenish undertone to it. Very slight. Same little brush, and I'm gonna run that on the outer third of my eye. It's very glittery, so I'm trying not to take it too far down because I don't need glitter to my nostrils. I don't. I really don't. And I'm blending it in with that gold, with that Kathleen Lights color. Let's grab Glow one more time and take that on the inner corner of my eye as well. Just really bring some light back to it. And you still have that nice gold tone there as well. Okay, let's do some eyeliner. So let's go ahead and take a new eyeliner that just launched with Morphe. It's called Flex. It's this deep navy blue liner. It looks so sickening on a Sigma E06, which is probably my favorite liner brush ever. It's so precise. It's so thin. Blue wing. Yeah, so just go ahead and fill that in. This is what it looks like with the liner on. I wanted to do a nice, like, thick liner because I did want the blue to stand out, especially when you put lashes on. I want it to be, like, there. And especially because I think the blue matte liner goes so well with this nice orangey gold. I think it just makes the eyes pop so nicely. And, I, and they're cheap, too. Oh, Morphe. Oh, Morphe. You guys make me so fucking happy. And, of course, you guys get to save money off of the liners, too. Yeah. I completely forgot to do, like, my inner waterline. The Tarte Inner Rim Liner, the nude one. This is my favorite nude liner for the inner rim of all time. I take this like when I travel with me. I, I wear this when I'm like at an event. It's so creamy and just goes on so easily. If you're looking for a good like nude liner for the inner rim, oh my God, check this out. Cool, so now we have the eyes done. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, which is like my mascara right now, like I've been obsessing, living, breathing, dying for, like obsessed. Okay, so now for lashes. Why is it like so cool tone now? I feel like it was warm tone, and now it's cool tone my camera. Like, what the fuck? I don't know what to do. I'm not good at settings. I'm not good at settings, I'm sorry. So why did no one tell me about velour lashes and doll me up? What? Blinking View doesn't have a pair like this. We are using these today. These are so fucking curly, holy shit. Okay, seriously, that was like the biggest train wreck of trying to put on lashes ever. My eye got super watery, the whole band came off. It was a mess. That literally was like 10 minutes. My eyes are still watery. They're still fucking watering and they're pissing me off. So that was my eyes. So for the lips, we are gonna do NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner by NYX Cosmetics. I just said that. And that we're just gonna line all over the lips. This is my favorite lip liner. The reason it's my favorite is just because it's such a perfect neutral pinky brown color. And since my lips aren't super defined, this is like the perfect defining lip liner for me. 
lip lined. And now we're gonna grab Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss in vintage, which I've talked about already. It is my favorite gloss by them. It is so fucking perfect. I can't. And this is the final look. So that was it for my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is like just a very easy, chill, get ready with me. I like doing like talk throughs videos, as you guys know. I talk through everything all the time. Because I'm a talker. Mama's a talker. She likes to talk. She likes to talk to you guys. Don't forget to check out the bottom bar, description bar for everything I listed in this video. And codes and links and things like that for everything. Some of them are commission codes, so you guys know. And some of them are commission links, is so you guys know as well. I like to tell you guys these things. I think it's just better and a lot of you guys love that I tell you guys about my commissions and things like that. So, just want to let you guys know. Everything is linked down below with codes for some things. Not for everything, but for some things. So, please feel free to check it out. And like this video. If you want some. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. I'm so happy to be back. I, it's so nice to be able to actually film. Like the last three videos I had up, like they were pre recorded because I was going to New York for a week for IMATS. And you guys saw my video on IMATS. I'm, I've missed you guys so much. And thank you guys all for coming out at IMATS and saying hi to me. And I love you guys so fucking much. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that other shit that like other platforms. I don't know why you're not following me on those if you aren't already. I talk so fucking fast sometimes. It's not even, I don't even know what I'm saying when I'm editing. Bitch. If you guys like these kind of chit chat, get ready with me's. Please tell me in the comments because I go off, like videos I do, I go off of your guys' comments. You guys are so engaged with me and I absolutely love it. I love commenting back to you guys and I love reading my fucking comments. You guys know me. I'm so happy I told you to Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, you guys. I love you. If you guys like these kind of chit chat, get ready with me. Can't talk. If you guys like these kind of chit chat, get ready. What are you doing? I'm filming, obviously, the day I get back. Good. What are you doing? It's about time you got to filming. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Get in here. Get in the camera. No, 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 no. Love you. Bye. Love you too, Mom. I'm so ugly right now. Outskirts. I don't even know if that makes sense. Outskirts of my face like that. Is that even a thing? I want to be glowing and beautiful like J-Lo. Pero J-Lo. I want to be like... <laughs> Morphe M4. What? No, you're not. That's a very small and Don't trip too much, my little chocolate trip. Do not even trip. My little chocolate trip. Do not even trip. My little chocolate trip. My little chocolate trip. I'm like hitting my eyes so hard, I'm like... You can call my fucking titties, honestly. I went to in and out today. Very good decision. Very good. Fucking good. Slay. Slay. It slays me. Yes. My window's open. Okay, calm down. Calm your fucking titties, bitch. You are going great today. Tell